So basically, I'm, I'm looking for your, a boost or something to move forward in this venture. Well, we have a lot to talk about here and some questions that we want to ask of you. So just relax and enjoy this. The most significant thing that we want to say to you is that wanting to protect your investors from their insecurity, we wouldn't try too hard to do that. Now we know that on a practical basis, it seems that you've got to do that because if you don't do that, then they are insecure and they don't come and play. But we just want to start by saying that if you talk someone into something, against their desire to play, then you're going to be in that position for a really long time. The position of having to convince them, convince them, convince them, convince them. In other words, that's the burden that you're feeling. When we talk about getting into alignment, that part feels pretty easy for you, doesn't it? Yes. You do that easily, but bringing somebody else into alignment is much too big of a burden for any of you to take on for yourself. So what your work is, is to get yourself into alignment so that you are ravenous with your thirst and hunger for what's taking place here so that they are called to your aligned knowing about it. Because when you get into that place where you're trying to convince somebody, we have never known anyone who was trying to deal with someone's insecurity who didn't go into a vibration that matched the insecurity rather than stay in the vibration of the knowing of what you're going for. And that's the reason that it's feeling a little rocky to you. We watch so many in the vibrational stages of their empires. And it's so clean then before the first bricks are laid in the building and before the employees and stuff is gathered to make the business go when it is still in the idea of you where you are able to tend to it in a way that so you are enthusiastic about it and it, you're breathless about it and you're not sleeping at night because you're so excited about it and it all feels so fresh and clean and easy and then dun 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 you bring the other people into it who aren't there with you and then your attention often goes to trying to shore them up and you can't shore them up and be on your path at the same time it is our promise to you that as you enjoy the feeling of flow of your path that those in sync with it will come along and we believe that these investors are that in other words we can feel that they came with that flow because these things that we've been speaking about you in large part, you have already been doing. In other words, you have been tuning in, tapping in, tuning in, tuning up, getting in sync. You have been doing that, but this little bit of encouragement that we are giving you about not working too hard to keep them steady is the piece that if we were standing in your physical shoes right now, we would apply. It's almost like you don't want to say this out loud to them. Maybe you will say this to them in a few days, but not right now. You don't necessarily want to put it into words, but it is the sentiment that we want you to hold. If not you, someone is coming along for this. If not you, someone, it might as well be you because here you are, but if not you, someone, in other words, don't get into that place where I need you because that brings stuff out of them that they don't even want to come out of them. It's just sort of part of the fearful business climate, you see. Okay. So I changed my phone number and email address until it's all completed. <laughs> because what would that accomplish? Well, see, the thing is that I perceive their anxiety and I'm very much in alignment with all of this, what I'm doing until I'm getting those anxious phone calls and email about their insecurity I should say about what we're conducting over there especially when they're asking from specific information in which I'm unable to share because I didn't get it as of yet sometimes I find it challenging of course if you would call me in the middle of a meditation where I'm vibrating at certain levels a different story where I'm in the middle of the operations during the daytime 
something really important for us to address here and get it is that this is a vibrational universe and your vibration is everything and those emails that they send full of their insecurities are activating within you something that is not productive to the project and so that's why business on the whole has become such a distorted thing that's why we were talking about you can't fake it till you make it that's why we're talking about lip service doesn't give it and yet there are so many that are wanting to manipulate the feelings or the behaviors of others by giving them assurances and you see here's the thing that's off about this it isn't that they are needing or even demanding or wanting assurances from you that you're not able to give them that's not really what's off about this it's not just that you don't yet have the information or that you can't confirm you can't give them the specifics of the manifestations because they haven't happened yet they're still a vibrational thing that are still in the process of becoming that isn't what's off about this what's off about this is that they're not doing anything about their own alignment they're not even trying to be in alignment they are in complete dependency on you Mm -hmm. and this is what we were talking about yesterday about that attitude of service of needing to be their path of least resistance and you can't be someone else's path of least resistance that's why we were talking about the resourcing of source you've got to keep getting filled up so what you're wanting are some words that you can say to yourself or some words that you can say to them but what's tripping you up is you don't think they are ready to hear that this is a vibrational reality in the process of becoming for sure <laughs> <laughs> every investor wants unreasonable assurances and in the world of investment they need to be big boys and understand that that's what the game is in other words if it was a sure thing and a slam dunk there would be a line out the door this is an experience that you're having together and they know that don't let them put you in the position of having to hold their hand to the point that you have no resources of your own logical very much so and just to, to finish if I may before you do here's the thing that we want you to feel if not say to them something really good going on here that you want to be a part of something really good going on here that you want to be a part of something really good going on here that you want to be a part of period something really good going on here that you want to be a part of don't ask me to give details that are in the process of becoming it keeps them from becoming don't ask me to answer questions that haven't lighted up for me yet it keeps them from lighting up don't take me from my path let me be on my path and I will lead this where it wants to go see ma'am I know that we know we know you know but the communicated to them would be those exact words and they will leave me alone for a bit because I'm, we're just about to complete all this so in other words but here's words, the thing attraction you know that concept in human of attraction attractiveness someone who is in alignment who is in complete belief and knowing is very very attractive that's what attraction has always been and so what's happening to you is you are letting their neediness erode your alignment which makes you less attractive mm -hmm. you've got to stand in your power you see <laughs> stand in your knowing would you have an additional trick hints or because the, <laughs> the first thing I said was I said to you is I need to protect my soup right so it's basically what you're saying how better how far in are you are they already invested oh yeah yeah it's been in a year, a year a year now so can they pull out yeah it would be possible but is it logical that they would no it would affect the project but but uh, is it logical that they could it's logical could you go off without them at this stage no not yet so that's what the discord is you need them mm -hmm. 
And so you've got to get into a vibrational place where you don't feel that need, sure. where you feel appreciation for what they are, appreciation mm -hmm. for what they are mm -hmm. and belief in what it all means. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I appreciate yeah. what you're saying. Well, that's the trick. The trick is always alignment. The trick is always talking yourself back into your power. Oh, yeah. Okay. In regards to that specific project, sometimes I feel maybe we should just all pull out because sometimes I feel the pressure is hard. And when I feel kind of weak, when I cannot be in that. That's uh, what we were talking about yesterday. When you are trying to be the path of least resistance for someone else, then you get depleted and then it feels like it's too much. But when you keep drinking from the well, that's why your impulse to meditate keeps coming on. When you continue to put yourself in vibrational sync with who you are so that you fill yourself back up and you do that through the processes that, you know, in other words, there is no trick. There's just a persistent application of the things that, you know, that do fill you up. The mindset that you want is that it's about your alignment, not about soothing them because they're not going to go anywhere. You see, almost everyone is looking for someone for the alignment that they want because almost no one knows how to go to the resources of source to find it. Esther, in all of the years that she has been listening to us, did not realize that she was much more than she meant to be dependent upon Jerry's appreciation of things. And it wasn't until that obvious in the moment, in the room, steadiness was not there for her to see that she began discovering that she had always been looking for it sort of in the wrong place. And we're not telling you this because you need to know it. We're telling you this about them because they don't know it, but they don't need to know it for you to continue to know it. Don't let their not knowing it upset your vantage point. So the sort of things that we would say to ourselves, if we were standing in your physical shoes are, they are the appropriate partners. Everything is working out fine. Their neediness while annoying has no real power. As long as I don't let it take me off my game.